Hi everybody, welcome back to another Pharmacy Chalk Talk. In this video, we're gonna calculate adjusted and ideal body weight. So here's the case scenario. Given a male patient with a height of 178 centimeters and a weight of 220 pounds, what is their ideal and adjusted body weight? So let's take a look at what the equations are for each of these. Let's start with ideal body weight. So this equation was developed by Devine and colleagues back in the 70s, and it looks like this. And that's for a male, an ideal body weight is equal to 50 kilograms plus 2.3 times their height in inches minus 60. And I also want to point out that it's a little different for a female. And the only difference being it's 45.5 kilograms plus 2.3 times height in inches minus 60. So that's what the equation looks like. So can we do this equation yet? And it doesn't look like we can because we don't have their height in inches. So let's figure out what their height is in inches. For a patient with 178 centimeter height, we would multiply it by the conversion factor to turn centimeters into inches, which looks like this. One inch having 2.54 centimeters in it, and if we did that math, this patient's height is about 70 inches. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and calculate their ideal body weight. So this patient's ideal body weight is about 73 kilograms. So let's see what that looks like when we compare it to their total body weight or their actual body weight of 220 pounds. So let's convert 220 pounds to kilograms, multiplying by the conversion factor for pounds into kilograms. And this patient has a total body weight of 100 kilograms. So you can see they're quite a bit higher than their ideal body weight. One thing I always like to do is calculate their BMI because it gives me a good idea of where they land in terms of their total body weight. So BMI is equal to kilograms per meter square. So we have kilograms. And if we multiply the centimeters times 100, that converts centimeters into meters. And we need to square it. And that gives us a BMI of 31.6 kilograms per meter squared. And if we compare that to the charts of BMI, which include 18 to 25 being normal weight, 25 to 30 being overweight, and greater than 30 being obese, we can tell this patient has pretty high BMI in the obese range. So we've calculated their ideal body weight. Let's look at how to calculate their adjusted body weight. And that's with the following equation. And what adjusted body weight is, is what it says it is. It's really an adjustment usually used in certain dosing or pharmacokinetic scenarios where a patient has a very high BMI and we need to do some sort of adjustment because they're just nowhere close to the ideal body weight. Therefore, we could be underdosing them or potentially incorrectly calculating something like a renal clearance if we don't use an adjusted body weight. So for this patient, the calculation of adjusted body weight would be the ideal plus 0.4 or 40% adjustment times 100 minus 100, which would be the total body weight minus the ideal body weight. And that gives us an adjusted body weight of 83.8 kilograms. You can see it lands somewhere in between the ideal body weight and the patient's total body weight of 100 kilograms. So this video just kind of wanted to go over how we do these calculations. Some calculations call for ideal body weight, some call for adjusted body weight. It depends on the dosing scenario, it depends on the clinical practice site. And so it's good to know these basic equations so we can quickly do their calculations to get an idea of where a patient's body weight lands relative to what would be the population-based equations that we use. Thank you for your attention.